Hello everybody, I'm Chris Olds. I'm Dan Hitt. And we're here with an absolutely memorable edition of Box Busters. Um, yeah, absolute anyway. Absolute Absolutely. Football. Not absolute men. It used to be that. Though, yeah, right? no longer absolute men. This year, right here, sir. There you go. I was on top of it and didn't even realize it. No longer absolute wow. memorabilia. Absolute football. Four pack four back four uh, four packs per box. Say. Exactly. What are we looking at? Is it what's the are any other changes? Uh well, that is a good question. I don't remember any significant mm -hmm. changes to speak of. I mean this is one of those brands that's been around for several years. Yeah, very it's popular. Very distinct. Brand. I yeah, liked I liked distinct. it a lot back in the day. Mm -hmm. Um, but not so much anymore. Not, I liked it when there were more <laughs> packs, to tell you the truth. I mean, I, I don't yeah. buy high-end like this anymore at all. This has um, evolved into a really high-end product. Yeah. 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 40 bucks a pack. You One get hit. an autograph and or a mem in every pack. Probably or. Right. I would guess. But, uh, every once in a while, you might get a, a, a double pack. Yeah. I'm sure they'll sneak yeah. some of those in just based on how the product's built. You know. But um, it is a... Um, Highly collected brand. Um, secondary market values on, on some of the key cards is always pretty strong, and yeah. um, there's always a good uh, collector base that will be willing to buy them, so they hold up well in the secondary market. I've got four base cards and, a, and an autograph in my first box, the first pack. Anquan Bolton, Drew Brees, Larry Fitzgerald, and Josh Cribbs are my base cards. It's like a foil stamped hollow board. Which is very typical of this brand. Yeah. exactly what you'd expect. Out of that, this is the hobby version, obviously. And numbered out of two ninety nine is my autograph rookie card of Orson Charles, who is a receiver or tight end out of Georgia for the Bengals. 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 Sticker autograph. It is. Okay. All right. Here's my first pack. A couple of base cards. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. We also have your Mike Thomas, Vernon Davis. I've got a uh, rookie of Stephen Gilmore. This is a base rookie card of, I think, $3.99, but it's very difficult to read. But... This pack just doesn't want to come open, so I'm having to tear it. Serial number $3.99, base rookie card. And then I've got a pretty nice autograph here, actually. Um, I've got you beat for our first pack. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Serial number to 75, Ron Gronkowski autograph. Very yeah. nice looking card. Nice looking autograph, one of the more popular players in the entire league. He's on my fantasy team, so even I know who he is. Well, he must be he got me some points this year. He did sure. until he got hurt, that's for sure. Yeah. Sean Green, Dwayne Bowe, and Mr. Sue are my base cards, along with a rookie card of Andre Branch, numbered out of 399. And I have a War Room Prime patch card, or prime card, patch, numbered out of 49 of Brandon Whedon. Pretty cool looking card. Yep. Be cooler if it had an autograph on there, but it's, it's not bad. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, Whedon's one of the rookie photo shoot guys, which this brand, like a lot of football brands this year, just loaded with the 35 rookie photo yeah. shoot guys. War Room, you know, and you'll have the prime versions. Uh, tools of the trade. Those guys will be loaded in that. Yeah, see that, that tools of the trade is the, the the one card I used to like a lot because you get multiple swatches per card. It's All right, cool. here are my base cards in my second pack: Roy Helu, uh, Mark Sanchez, Willis McGahey. Very little superstar value out of the base cards yeah. here. The base base sets a pretty pretty deep pretty deep checklist. Yeah, yeah. I've got a, a pretty good rookie card though, Chris Rainey. This is number 25, the gold parallel. And then I've got an A.J. Jenkins, number 50, um, rookie NFL swatch, triple yeah, swatch. That's kind of cool. A little Patch. bit of color going on there. Yeah. That helps it out. Yep. My base, so cards, not too bad. My base cards are Jake Locker, Tony Romo, LeGarrette Blount. And I have, for the first time in this box, I have my Spectrum presence. A Spectrum Parallel Base, uh, let's see, what is this, Gold Spectrum, I guess? Gold, yeah, number 25? Yep, uh, yep. 25, Jamal Charles, and a Silver, it's out of 25. It's definitely silver not. Spectrum Autograph. Okay, Silver mm -hmm. Spectrum Autograph of Dallas Clark, which is, you know, it's, that's not different. Bad. Another tie-in. Yeah. 
Dallas Clark used to be one of the more popular tight ends in the league when he was with the Colts. Yeah, threw me off with the different he uniform. Was yeah, it's like not as much anymore. <laughs> but he still got his um, his uh, following. His following. Yep. All right, pack number three for me, Matt Schaub, um, Jeremy Macklin, base cars, Tom Brady. There we go, superstar, uh, and Vincent Jackson. So we've got four base cards, and I've got an autograph. Autograph Fletcher Cox, number two ninety nine. This is this definitely is a larger set. It's this is a hit about a hundred very hundred cards probably based on what I'm seeing. I've seen stuff up to like seventy or sixty seven. But uh, Daniel Thomas, AJ Green, and Hakeem Nicks are my base cards. Rookie or see, yeah, rookie card of Jashawn or Sean Spence out of three ninety nine. Hard to see there because of the foil. And I got, I got a valued collector card. Oh, okay. Is a, it, are you a valued collector? I hope so. A War Room Signature Prime Materials, which is actually pretty cool. It's basically this card here, but autographed. Or wait, no, wait, yeah, autographed signature of Nick Foles. Mmm, okay, so, that could be probably the best card we've pulled so far. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I put my Gronkowski at a... Probably a close second. I'd probably rather have right. Gronkowski just because he plays for a... a Strong team and you know, secondary market players, value, the value wise. Part better, yeah, yeah, value wise. All right, here we go. Final pack Cam Newton, Brandon Marshall, Greg Little, and a Drake Kirkpatrick rookie card number 399. Yep, base rookie card. All right, my final autograph, final autograph of this product on card autograph, Brock cool. Osweiler. The big O. Number 25. Yep. He just likes to scribble in circles for a little bit. Number 25, and that is the AFC version. That's a prime, isn't it? For the patch. Yeah, those are know. white I patches. I think it is. I think it technically is a prime because it is a patch, like you said, but it's solid yeah. white, like on the. Hard uh, to tell. That's, that's always tough. The yeah, there's a little bit of stitching there, on the sure. one. Mm -hmm. that's, a, oh, that's a cool card. It's just not very colorful on the, on the patch pieces. Yeah, um, nice looking on-card autograph, though. Yeah, yeah. Low print run, so solid. I think overall I think this you is... you got the best single card. Unfortunately, yeah. it's a redemption. Yeah. <laughs> overall, I mean, I think it's a fun kind of product to break. And and with, you know, with, with uh, NFL rookies, if you get a good one, you're, you're making your money. Yep. You know, yeah. Some others Very. could establish themselves mm -hmm. later. But uh, to me, this it this looks about like similar the last few years. I haven't bought football in probably three or four, but uh, it looks – Presuming some nice patch material here, I think it's it feels about the same. So, yeah, if you like Absolute Mem, uh, you know, like the look and feel of it, you'll like this version of it this year's. And uh, the only thing is, you just don't get a heck of a lot of cards for 160 bucks. Yeah, that is that's so. True. I love the look and feel of, of the product. Price is a little bit uh, out of my range as far as. Um, no, yeah, I mean, when I used to buy this stuff, I would wait until it got cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> I love buying these cards in the secondary market because they look great. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, there's tons of autographs coming out of it, so there's a lot of single cards to pick from. All right. It'll be on the online price guide here in, in about, about a week. In no, about a week. It's product's been live for about a week. Okay. Uh, so end of next week. Unfortunately, All that's right. kind of Christmas week. but Yeah, so maybe a little before, maybe a little after, somewhere in there. It'll Pretty be, close. It'll be after Christmas for sure. Okay. I was leaving that <laughs> up to him. But, uh, so overall, yeah. I think it's a fun break. It's just, you know, it's just kind of those, it's hit and miss because of the price point. And, you know, if you get a big one, you'll be fine. If you don't, you might want to rip some more or rip on me. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> right. till next time, I'm Chris. I'm Dan. Just keep ripping. Adios.